there's a, a lot of advice uh, out there around heating the person and not heating the home, which is a more cost-effective way of staying warm. So some of you out there may be considering either buying one of these, an electric blanket, or digging one out of the loft. So if you are considering using an electric blanket that you've already got, we'd recommend that uh, you make sure it's no older than 10 years. And if you're in any doubt, throw it out. So after we've checked the fuse, we're gonna start working our way down the plug itself and into the wiring itself. So on this articulated point here where there's a lot of movement around the plug, we just have a nice little look in there. And as you can see on this example, there's a bit of damage in there with some exposed wires. So there's a good reason not to be using this electric blanket. And as I work my way down, it looks as though someone's had a little nibble on here somewhere along the lines, maybe a cat or a dog, and uh, some really poor, unprofessional uh, repair work there. So again, another reason not to use this. Just by running your hand down the cable, you can feel for anything that feels unusual, anything that shouldn't be there, um, any lumps, bumps and such like. And as, just as we get to this point, we can see again, we've got some exposed cabling with some exposed wires, just another good reason not to use it. And as you can see, the electric blanket, the wires themselves are fairly distinctive throughout the electric blanket. So just run your hand along both sides, just having a look to see if there's anything there that's unusual, anything poking out. And when I get to this point here, we can see we've got some cabling that's sticking out. And again, we can see some exposed wires on that too. Uh, water and electrics do not mix, so if that was to come into contact with any water, that's going to be a bad day. As we work our way along the blanket, check in again to both sides. I can see at this point, I've got a hole in the electric blanket. Now, although this isn't affecting any of the wiring itself, it does start to give you an indication that this is in poor repair, and it won't be long before that gets to the cabling itself. So again, if there's any doubt, throw it out. So for more advice on how to save safely, please follow our website.